November, everybody. Um, today's video is going to be my October favorites. This is my first ever favorites video. And just before we get into it, this year has just been flying by. It feels like just like two days ago it was New Year's. And it's like, I mean, it just blows my mind how fast this year has gone. Um, I mean, like, Christmas is next month. Like, yeah, it makes me so happy because I love the holiday season and I am just so excited that it's almost Christmas time. I mean, I've already been spending the day um, kind of decorating my room for Christmas. I've got my Christmas lights up. I've got my Christmas tree put up over there with no ornaments on it because I have to get them out of the attic and stuff. And I've just been kind of putting away all of my Halloween decorations and everything because Halloween is over and it is now getting into the time for Christmas, and I am just so excited, but yeah, like I said, it's going to be my October favorites today, and I have just some beauty, some makeup, some fashion, some things like that, that kind of favorites, and yeah, so with that being said, let's just hop right in. The first thing that I have is this St. Ives Blemish Control Acne Scrub, and it says that it, it's supposed to prevent blackheads and minimize pores. Um, I heard about this from Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi on YouTube. She raved about it in her, I believe it was her September favorites, and then I was in Walgreens one day, and I was just like, you know, I'll pick it up, and so I picked it up, and I love this stuff. It smells, well, it smells like apricot, apricot? It smells like apricots, and um, what I really like about this is, like, the first few days, I just noticed my skin being really soft, but after I continued to use it, my my pores did, like, my pores, I have noticed a real big difference in them, because, like, I, they're minimizing, like it says, and I'm seeing a lot less blackheads. And my next favorite is a moisturizer, and it is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. I love this stuff. This stuff smells amazing. I can't really put my finger on what it smells like. I just know that it smells very tropical and fresh and clean. And I love this smell. And then I love how moisturizing it is. I have these two shampoos. And I have been using both of them this month. I've been like switching on and off. Um, these are the um, organic shampoos. Like picked up the... A Wapahooey, I hope I'm saying that right, a Wapahooey um, ginger shampoo, and it's supposed to be repairing, and it says that um, it's supposed to mend and soften dry coarse hair while stimulating the scalp with freshness, rich keratin proteins, and it's supposed to fortify at each strand, creating restored soft strengthened hair from inside, from the inside and out, and I love this stuff. This one is probably my favorite out of both of them. It smells so good. I, it's very, like, fruity tropical. I'll just say that. And I have noticed whenever I use this one that my hair is softer once I get out of the shower. And it just feels amazing. I love it. And this one is probably my favorite. But the other one that I have is the um, Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo. And this one, I have the, um, like, heat protectant in this one. And what I really like about this one is I especially make sure to wash my hair with this one when I know I'm going to be straightening my hair. But both of them make my hair so soft and shiny and I just love it the way they just like feel and smell. The next hair product is a dry shampoo and it is the, the True Original and it is this instant dry shampoo. This stuff smells so good and um, it really does help because... Ever since I started working at um, a fast food restaurant, I've noticed my hair getting really um, a lot more greasy and like it seems like I have to wash my hair every single day and I hate having to wash my hair every single day because I know that that's really damaging to your hair. So I've been using this on the days that I don't wash my hair and this really just makes my hair look cleaner. Now it doesn't clean your hair but... Um, it really just makes it look cleaner to me, and, like, I love it because it gives it a nice, clean smell. So it seems like I took a shower and washed my hair every single day, but really I'm not, and I'm not damaging my hair as much. So I've really been loving this. 
And then, like I was saying, I haven't used this. Um, I use this when I straighten or like put any heat and this is the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray and this stuff is amazing because during the fall and winter time I tend to put more heat um, on my hair because I love just like at the holiday time straightening or curling my hair and so I've been using this here recently because I'm starting to straighten my hair more and when I do straighten my hair I do use this shampoo and then I use this heat protectant and my hair is just it smells good it's soft, it's shiny, and this really does help my hair. Now my first product for the makeup favorites is going to have to be my CoverGirl Outlet Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This stuff. Everyone, I know, everyone rants and raves about this, but I picked this up a while back and I use it literally every day. I'm not even kidding. Like, this stuff, it's so easy to, like, blend. And I love that it's a primer and a concealer and foundation all in one. So I don't have to worry about priming. And I barely have to put on any concealer now. And it just blends wonderfully. It just, it makes my skin look very flawless. And I really do like it. Um, and you know, concealer, I, this is the um, Benefit Boing Concealer. Um, I don't have to use this as much now because of the foundation, but I love this stuff, especially on my under eyes. This stuff blends really nicely. Um, it covers amazingly. And here lately, my chin has been really breaking out, and um, I've been using this, and this is really helping me like keep it covered up and under control. I love this stuff. All right, now into eyes. Um, I have been recently just kind of liking to experiment with eyeshadow. Normally, I'm not the type to wear eyeshadows. I normally just do, um, I, I, I put like eyeliner on the top of my, on my eyelids or whatever and just like line my eyes and then some mascara and that's really it. I don't ever add eyeshadow, but if you watched my fall makeup tutorial, I did kind of want to experiment with some eyeshadows for that tutorial especially. And, um, I reached for my e.l.f. Natural Eye Palette. Um, I think I got this for Christmas last year, and my mom got it at Walgreens, I believe. And, um, this, it has such an amazing, like, it has an amazing palette of colors. They're really neutral, hence the name Natural Eye. Um, but I just really love these colors especially because I'm not very bold with eyeshadows because I'm just now starting to experiment with them. And so these um, make it easy for me to like experiment but make sure that it's not too crazy. I can create a really nice natural smoky eye or whatever. Loving this eye palette. Next for mascara, this product, I've had it for a while. It's the Maybelline, um, the Rocky Volume Express Mascara. I have, for some reason, just been reaching for this one a lot this month instead of having, like, my big eyes or some other mascara. I've really just been loving this mascara. Um, I don't know. I just like the way that it makes my lashes look. It gives them that nice, voluminous, long length that I really, really like, and I just love this mascara. I will continue repurchasing this mascara. Um, I've had it for a while, and I just love this product. A big favorite of mine is this month has been plain sweaters like these with a big bold staple necklace and I have these two that I got from a local shop when I was shopping with my aunt. Um, I don't know if you're in Texas or if you're in Dallas and you know about Harry Hines but I got it from one of the little Chinese shops there and this necklace is by far my favorite. I this one is another one that I have that I got from the same shop with my aunt. Um, this one's just very classy and elegant to me. It's like little pearls with a gold chain. And I just really like how this... Now on to the fun part, the food. And I only have one food item. Um, and it is the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Cereal. And it's all empty. Me and my sister ate it all, but I kept the box to show it because this cereal was so good. It literally just tasted like an Oreo. My favorite was by far Pretty Little Liars Halloween episode. Um, another show, Ravenswood. Oh, what is up with that show? That show is so good, but it's so creepy at the same time. And 
oh, they both just like every time I watch them, especially that Halloween episode, I just feel like my hair on the back of my neck stand up and I just loved it. That episode was so good. My favorite app of the month has definitely been Heyday. And my mom got me addicted to this um, a couple weeks ago. And I just love it. It's where you make your own farm and, like, you take care of your animals and everything. And I don't know why I'm addicted. I just, like, just to, like, pass, like, my spare time or whatever, I'll just get on there and mess with the farm. And so that has definitely been my favorite app of the month, which is Heyday. And now my favorite music of the month. Oh, this one's good. I have a lot. Um, my first is Luke Bryan's Crash My Party album. I know this came back out a while back and I just got it. For some reason this month I was just kind of feeling very, um, wanting to listen to country, I guess. Just kind of like a country feel of it. Like I was just feeling, listening to country. And so I got his album and his album is so good. My favorite is That's My, That's My Kind of Night, Crash My Party. Next favorite one is Lord's album, Pure Heroin. Oh my gosh, that album. Lord is just amazing to me. She's so, her voice is just so pretty. Favorite songs when there's Team, Tennis Court, um, and just like, just all the songs really. They're amazing. I've been loving, for some reason, all the Selena Gomez's album, Stars Dance or whatever, the birthday song. Oh my gosh, I've been listening to that song on repeat. And I've had her album for a while, but for some reason, that song is just like, I guess because of the fact that it was my birthday month, and so I was just kind of feeling like, I need to listen to a song about birthdays. And so I immediately picked hers, and I've just been loving her birthday song. And then I've been loving Justin Bieber's Music Mondays. Um, my favorite off of that one is probably going to have to be either All That Matters or Hold Tight. All of them are really good, but those two are just my main favorite ones. They're just so good. And I just really, really, really love those songs. And then Tori Kelly. Oh my gosh. Her voice is so pretty. My favorite song off of her EP is Dear No One. That one is just so pretty. I jam to that song all the time. It's on repeat. So yeah, those are my favorite music um, favorites of the month. And I will link some of them down below. I don't know if I'll link all of them because then that will be like a lot. But, like, I'll link some of my favorites and some of the favorites that I forgot to mention if I did forget to mention any. And, yeah, so those were my favorite music items. Alright, so I'm going to do something different on my channel's um, favorite videos. At least, I think it's different. I haven't seen anyone do this on YouTube, I don't think yet. Um, so, I'm going to be doing my favorite celebrity of the month. And what I do is I normally, for some reason, like, I will pick one celebrity that month and then just, just fangirl over them. I'll stalk their Instagram, their Twitter, listen to all their music. I mean, I'll just basically just do that for the whole month. And um, then, like, the next month, I'll have another favorite. So I normally do that a lot, and I do that every single month. And so, my October favorite celebrity this month was Selena Gomez. And I just think that Selena Gomez is absolutely gorgeous. She's um, such an amazing singer, and I love her music. And um, for some reason, I guess just because maybe the fact that I was listening to her birthday song on repeat, that I just loved her, um, just stalking her, I guess. Um, like I said, she's gorgeous, and I just love getting on Instagram and going to her pictures and seeing all the little pictures that she takes with, like, her fans at the end of a concert since she's on tour in Brazil and stuff. And, yeah, I just really love her music and just, just her in general. And so, yeah, she was my favorite celebrity of the month. And, um, yeah, we'll see who gets to be my next celebrity favorite for next month so yeah all right so I think that is all of my favorites for this month if you liked this video then give it a thumbs up and if you would like for me to continue to keep on doing favorites like I said this is my first favorites video and I'd love to keep continuing them because I love watching these at every end of the month and um yeah so I hope you enjoyed if you did just give this video a thumbs up and um yeah uh, comment down below 
some of your favorites for this month. And yeah, I will talk to y'all in my next video. I love you guys. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye guys.